Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. Whether you're joining us live or later today or even on another day, I am very glad that you are with us. So as always, we're going to start with a blessing, and then we'll be reading from the book of Psalms. Today it is Psalm chapter 35, and then we will be reciting the Nicene Creed and the Lord's Prayer together, and then we'll be going through the prayers of the people. And also, I want to apologize for not being present yesterday. To be completely transparent, I forgot to set an alarm on my phone. So, hopefully I will not be making that mistake again anytime soon, and I'm glad to be here with you this morning. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. In reading Psalm chapter 35. Lord, argue with those who argue with me. Fight with those who fight against me. Grab a shield and armor. Stand up and help me. Use your spear and axe against those who are out to get me. Say to me, I'm your salvation. Let those who want me dead be humiliated and put to shame. Let those who intend to hurt me be thoroughly frustrated and disgraced. Let them be like dust on the wind, and let the Lord's messenger be the one who does the blowing. Let their path be dark and slippery, and let the Lord's messenger be the one who does the chasing. Because they hid their net for me for no reason. They dug a pit for me for no reason. Let disaster come up to them when they don't suspect it. Let the net they hid catch them instead. Let them fall into it to their disaster. But I will rejoice in the Lord. I will celebrate his salvation. All my bones will say, Lord, who could compare to you? You rescue the weak from those who overpower them. You rescue the weak and needy from those who plunder them. Violent witnesses stand up. They question me about things I know nothing about. They pay me back evil for good, leaving me stricken with grief. But when they were sick, I wore clothes for grieving, and I kept a strict fast. When my prayer came back unanswered, I would wander around like I was grieving a friend or a brother. I was weighed down, sad, like I was a mother in mourning, but when I stumbled, they celebrated and gathered together. They gathered together against me. Strangers I didn't know tore me to pieces and wouldn't quit. They ridiculed me over and over again like godless people would do, grinding their teeth at me. How long, my lord, will you watch this happen? Rescue me from their attacks. Rescue my precious life from these predatory lions. Then I will thank you in the great assembly. I will praise you in a huge crowd of people. Don't let those who are my enemies without cause celebrate over me. Don't let those who hate me for no reason wink at my demise. They don't speak the truth. Instead, they plot false accusations against innocent people in the land. They speak out against me, saying, yes, oh yes, we've seen it with our own eyes. But you've seen it too, Lord. Don't keep quiet about it. Please don't be far from me, my Lord. Wake up, get up, and do justice for me. Argue my case, my Lord and my God. Establish justice for me according to your righteousness, Lord and my God. Don't let them celebrate over me. Don't let them say to themselves, yes, exactly what we wanted. Don't let them say we ate him up. Let all those who celebrate my misfortune be disgraced and put to shame. Let those who exalt themselves over me be dressed up in shame and dishonor. But let those who want things to be set right for me shout for joy and celebrate. Let them constantly say, The Lord is great. God wants his servant to be at peace. Then my tongue will talk all about your righteousness. It will talk about your praise all day long. All right, and now I'll be putting the Nicene Creed in the comments. Let us affirm our common faith with followers of Christ throughout the world and all of history in the reciting of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified, he has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now I'll be putting the Lord's Prayer in the comments so that we can recite it together. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who is in heaven, uphold the holiness of your name. Bring in your kingdom so that your will is done on earth as is done in heaven. Give us the bread we need for today. Forgive us for the ways we have wronged you, just as we also forgive those who have wronged us. And don't lead us into temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. All right, and let us now continue with the prayers of the people, which I am putting in the comments right now. <clears throat> Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. As always, the refrain, the part of the prayer that we all say together, is in all caps so that you can distinguish it. Lord, we pray for the worldwide church, for our congregation, the journey, and for our campus outreach ministry at Graceland University, that we may all be one. We open our hearts so that we may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all spiritual leaders around the world, and especially for our own pastors, Justin, Sean, Mia, Tim, Lily, Eli, Caleb, Michelle, and Harrison, that they may be faithful ministers of your gospel. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, especially our President Joseph, our Vice President Kamala, our Governor Mike, our Representatives Joshua, Sam, Emmanuel, and Ray and those who serve in the local elected positions of our communities, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. We offer a special prayer for the people of Ukraine. We pray for an end to conflict and a start to deep, abiding peace, and we pray that your spirit provides comfort and hope even in the midst of terrible suffering. We also pray for Vladimir Putin and the nation of Russia, that they experience conviction over their actions and repent of their violence and warfare. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially Robert, who is undergoing CART therapy, Charlotte, who is going through various health problems, Pam's granddaughter-in-law, who has been diagnosed with cancer, Patricia and her son, who have a fractured relationship, the people of Afghanistan, that they might experience peace in the midst of a power transition, for Mike Snyder, whose brother Greg passed away recently, for Don Lowry and her family, for Shelley and her family, 
for Deborah's housing situation, for Michelle Mangold, who is seeking financial freedom, for Bishop Guido, his wife Trini, and their family, for Patricia's granddaughter, Americus, for Patricia and her family, who are going through a rough time, for Anna Lee and her children, who recently lost their husband and father, Michael, to cancer, for Jeremiah's sister, Jennifer, who has stage four breast cancer, for Brandy and Jim and their family, who lost their grandchild, Everett, for Jennifer Holloway's husband, who is searching for employment, for Michelle's uncle Dwight, whose wife Barb passed away recently, for Andy Wiedemann, who lost his mother Diane, for Cammie, whose husband passed away recently, for Vonda, who was recently diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, for Candace's daughter Nadia, who is facing serious health issues, and for Candace, who has multiple sclerosis, for Caleb, who is undergoing treatment for depression and anxiety and who is searching for employment, for peace and comfort for Sarah and her family and extended family, for Michelle and Jeremiah's family, who are experiencing various illnesses, for Allie, that she might begin to eat well, and for Colton, who will be having surgery soon. Let them be delivered from their distress and raise us up as your hands and feet in this world. Let us live in the light of your grace as we go about our daily lives. We especially thank you for your loving provision for Darla as she diligently cares for her mother in the midst of sickness. For Nikki, as she performs her daily work as an RGM and as she explores her faith day by day. And for Mia, Tim, Aiden, and Allie as their family adjusts to having Allie at home. Let us always remember and live within the grace you are always giving us. Give to those who have passed, especially Greg Snyder, Michael Montier, Everett, Barbriel, Diane, and those in our communities who have lost their lives to alcohol or drug addiction, eternal rest. Let the light of your love shine on them forever. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom and work to bring it about here on this earth. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by troubles. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, and that concludes daily morning prayer for today. As always, I am putting a link in the comments. If I can type this morning, that is. All right, rethinkfaith.org slash prayer, where you can go to submit your own prayer request. As always, I'd ask that you specify if the prayer request is public or private. The public prayer request will appear here in the prayers of the people, whereas the private prayer request I only share with the Journey's leadership team, but either way, we will have people praying for you. And then also please send us updates so we can keep praying for you in whatever way is best for you. And so to anyone who has been here today, thank you so much for being here, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. for daily morning prayer.